Hello friends, in this video I'm going to create a fresh Laravel 9 application and I want to see the enums and Laravel scope with a database engine. This is my two uh, favorite features for Laravel 9. So in the terminal I'm going to say Laravel new, Laravel 9 and it's going to create a new Laravel application inside uh, this directory. Okay, and first I'm going to see the enums. And if you go to the laravel.com documentation and release, then you can see the documentation for the enums. Okay, I'm going to cd in the lara9, and I'm going to open this with a VS Code. And first I'm going to open the database seeder because I want to create some uh, users. Remove this and hit save. Close this one. Also in the database uh, migration, in the users migration, I'm going to create a new string here. So table string and I'm going to say role. And by default, it's going to be the user. And I'm going to create that because I want to work with the enums for that. Okay. And I think we are okay. Now I have created the Lara 9 uh, my, uh, database. For that, I'm going to say artisan migrate. fresh and dash dash seed. Okay. If I open, oh, we don't have this here. So if I open the table plus, database layer nine open. And yeah, now we have 10 users. Okay. Come here and I'm going to create a new enum so we to create first enums directory in the app directory or of our project okay so here create new name it enums and here i'm going to say new file uh, role dot php okay so here first create the PHP add the namespace for app and uh, enums. Okay, and create the enum for role and it's going to return a string. And I'm going to say case of a uh, user we have the user value and also for case admin we have the admin value save and if you have an error uh, you need to go inside the extension and if you search for uh, IntelliFans, if you have that, just I want to show you, go to the settings of this extension and change the PHP version. Yeah, here, so if you have 8.0, you, yeah, as you see here, we have names, uh, an error for the name, and we need to change that uh, PHP version. So 8.1. Save this and close. And you are good to go. Now we have the enum. I'm going to open the web routes. And in here, I'm going to say uh, 
then dump user and first one okay save sorry semicolon save and we need to import the user come here open the layer 9 and the attributes we have called the user attributes and we have the role here which is user I come here and say now role save so then dump the role refresh yeah we have the user now I want to open the user model and in the prototype cast I'm going to say the role and add it to the role in a class save and if I refresh now you see here now we have the role enum and we have the name and also the value if we want to display the name we can say here name and refresh also if we want the value come here and yeah now uh, by default all the users has their all user if I come here and say get all the users with the role now the role is role dollar sign role so we add and display all the so I'm going to say first import the role and return all the users so dollar sign users is going to be user where the role is dollar sign role and return the users save come here and refresh and uh, if i go to the slash users slash uh, user we have all the users but if i go to the user slash admin we have an empty array because we don't have any user that has the role admin and also if i search for uh, users and for example test role we don't have that so we have for for root model binding okay i'm going to cha change the user role so come here and So what I'm going to do is uh, when we go to the slash uh, remove this and the person user is going to be user find the user with ID of one and now the person user role is going to be with the role and change this to be admin and say user save and return okay save come here go to the now you see we have all the users uh, of the all the roles has user role if i go here and hit enter nothing happened but if i come here and refresh we have the first user with a role admin okay now if i go and try again mm, slash users slash role and add here 
رول طلع سايد رول اوكي اند طلع سايد يوزرز وكان يبيت يوزر وير رول طلع سايد رول get and return the users we can see we can see now if I go to the slash users slash user the first user here is the ID 2 if I change this to be admin we have now one user okay now that's it for the role, sorry, for the enums. The next one is the work with the Laravel code. And if you go to the documentation and inside the packages, you have the code here. Come here and install the Laravel code. Paste that in. Run the vendor published. Okay, and now I'm going to use this. So we need to say use a searchable in the model. I'm going to use in the user. So come here and paste that in. We need to, sorry, we need to import the searchable and also we need to add the. Searchable array. So here we have the database engine. We need first to say scope driver to database. So copy this, go to the .env and paste that in. So I'm going to add it here. Hit save, close and so here we have an example, I'm going to copy this one and go to the user and paste that in. Now BO we don't have, so remove that and also this one. Import this, hit save and go to the web PHP users. And now I'm going to say search. And I'm going to search for a user, so come here and find user. Now I'm going to search for this name. So search for that name and say get. Okay. If I refresh, uh, we need to go first change this to be home page and also here go to the home page oh yeah we read move also this one and the refresh and now we have this user with id 7 which has uh, this string in the name but also if I search for uh, one, it's going to get me the user with ID of one. So search, oh, not here. So to do that, I'm going to say here, uh, term, and add it here, the term. And now say here dollar sign term and save. Now if I hit enter, we get the user with ID of one. If I change this to be ID of uh, six, we have the user with ID of six. And if I search for this uh, string, enter, we get the same. And if I search for this string 
in the name. Also, we get this one. If I go to the database and I'm going to search for uh, this uh, string, copy, this is the ID7, go to the browser and paste that in. And we don't have because the search for the email, we add the prefix, search using prefix, okay? So if I remove the email here and leave only the ID and refresh now, we get that with ID, with this string in the email. Okay, friends. Uh, Hope you enjoy and see you in the next video, friends. Well